All right, here we go. It's another short video installment today. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Hudson wet plate clutch and how you service it and put oil in it. I've got my 51 Hudson Commodore 6 here to use as this example. I don't recall seeing any videos on YouTube about this subject, so we'll just kind of jump right into it. The first thing you have to do is you got to locate the drain plugs. There are two of them. They go into the front face of the flywheel, and you can see down in there that little window. And I'm going to try to point at it here. That little window down in there. Um, you can you can use the starter solenoid here to bump it a little bit, and there's a little button on the top. You can just bump it. And you'll hear the starter click. I don't want to bump it too much because I've actually already got it set up underneath. But anyway, you want to paint that white with, put a little bit of white paint on it so it's easier to see. But anyway, what you do is sometimes you have to go through there, through that window with a socket, but uh, to loosen it. Um, some of the things you will need, you'll either need an oil can that can squirt through a hose or the classic Hudson Hudson owners that have this strange funnel with the long tube and something else, anybody that has one of these cars, the classic 2x4. If you see a Hudson with a 2x4 and a strange funnel in it, that means somebody knew you keep the clutch blocked when you're going to store it. Well, I actually like to keep it blocked when I'm doing this, that way it, all the oil will come out. But anyway, we'll go under the car here. I'll show you where the plug is located. When you roll it around, you can roll it around to the bottom. And, of course, I already had this. I might be able to move this by hand a little bit. Yeah. It helps sometimes with a pry bar. Here we go. Let's see if I can't get the camera angle right where I need it. I'm just going to bump this flywheel back a little bit with a pry bar. Just be gentle doing this, not to damage your your uh, starter ring gear. I do this when I change my oil. It's actually kind of hard to do without hitting the camera. There we go. And there's a there is the little drain plug. You can see it. I'll point it out here with my finger. But that's it right there. And crack that loose with a wrench and I've already got mine loose so we're gonna go ahead and take the drain plug out you can see I have it painted white so it's easy to see when I'm rolling the engine around from the top and you'll see that the oil will come running out and we're gonna let that drain a little bit it kind of stops dripping and this is probably where I'm going to pause the camera for a moment okay once that's done kind of dripping you can see I've also put some white paint marker around the the drain plug hole you can see it there in the camera there, you can see it. Now I'm going to show you how you put the oil in. It only holds about six ounces of fluid. And they have a special fluid called Hudsonite. And you can I actually just use automatic transmission fluid in mine. 
I actually recorked my clutch quite a few years ago. And and I just used the button on the solenoid to bring it around. Bump it. There it is. And I can see it now. See if we can get this all in in three minutes. And I just put the funnel right down in the hole. Probably going to get to see my face today on camera, which is rare. And I know I got to get the right bottle of stuff here. That's type F. Do not put type F in it unless you want to go drag racing. And we got to measure out six ounces. And I'm just going to carefully pour this down in there. That looks to be about six ounces. Funnel out. And put the plug back in. It's kind of a long reach. Put the plug back in first. So it's finger tight. And bump this, then you take your and we'll bump the starter again to roll it back down. It's probably pretty close right there. We will then come under the car. And then you just put your wrench on it and bump it tight. Just give it a couple good firm bumps with your hand to tighten it, and that's and that's all there is to the Hudson clutch. Thank you for watching. If you like them, just subscribe. Have a good day.